your first time here hi my name is Linda and you're definitely welcome if you are a returning viewer or a returning sabi thank you so much for tuning back in and I hope that you guys enjoy this video so today we have ourselves a race move in vlog or a university move in vlog um, and yeah I moved from the previous place previous province that I stayed in and I stay in a whole new province, whole new city and I'm gonna move in with you guys so we're gonna be packing together, doing groceries together a whole lot of things that I need to do to settle in so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video Okay, so just before we start to okay so i'm gonna clean up this place um it's obviously clean and stuff but it won't feel like it's my own place until i clean like i wipe all the surfaces um and i mop the floors and i scrub everything so we're gonna do that but before that i want to show you guys what i got from pip so i went to pip before i started this vlog and i'm gonna show you guys what i got there okay so the first thing that i got is this mat it's a gray mat i got it for my my thing in my my shower so when i step out of the shower um and i got it for 60 rands everything that i got is from pip so this was 60 rands um yeah it's great quality honestly it's not too light and then I got this um, low, okay, let's just say a shower sponge. And then I got these um, exfoliating gloves, bath gloves. And these were 17 rands and this was 17 rands as well. Um, I actually found these at the till. I didn't pick them out. So I found them at the till and I was like, it'd be nice to have these. And then I got... Um, Sunlight and Domestos at Pep. Oh my gosh, my Domestos was silly. So I got Domestos and Sunlight for the basic cleaning that I need to do now. Um, and then I also got two pillowcases, two white pillowcases. I'm not sure if I have pillowcases in my things, but I've always wanted white pillowcases, so this is what I got. And then um, these were 35 rand each, so it's quite affordable. And then I got this. I had this at my previous place. I don't know what I did with it. It was 10 rand, so I'm also going to use it to clean up the space. And then I got um, a mattress protector for this bed um so yeah i don't want to be paying for things that i don't know so when i move out so i bought a mattress protector but this is also to like add that like layer of comfort on the bed because the bed is comfortable but like it's quite tough so i got that and then I got myself a knife. I have a knife, but I don't really like. Oh, the mattress protector was 150. And then the knife is um 22 rand. And then I got um a fitted sheet. 
I threw away the last one that I had at my previous place but even other than that uh, the bed is not the same size as the one that I had at my previous place so I had to buy a new one and it was 70 rand and then yeah that's it and I paid 485 rand for everything here so yeah let's just get to cleaning <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with this part. This is how it looks. And this is how the other side looks. So, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna start uh, packing the clothes, unpacking the luggage. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go to groceries today. I'm not sure. If I finish, I am going to do them today and yeah, we'll just see how that goes. But yeah, so far so good. I'm not yet tired. Um, and yeah, things are not as hectic as I thought they would be. So it's not bad. Okay, just a bit of... Um, uh, I don't know what to call it. 
but the food that you saw in the cabinets are like land perishables that um i couriered here so they are from like my old place um and then i couriered them here and i didn't courier everything it was just land perishables um so yeah i need to do groceries because i have nothing so yeah that's what we're gonna do if we finish um packing the clothes on time show you guys how my thingy my clothes look for now okay so i have these that i put here because i'm i need to buy hangers um so yeah those are my two bags this is where the hangers are gonna go yeah and then this is how my clothes look for now um and then i need to buy an organizer for my socks and bras and undergarments but i think i don't know what i'm gonna put down down there i'm not sure yet but there is ample of space um and then up there i'm also not sure what i am going to put but yeah now i'm about to uh, make my bed um and then there's also the smith here i'm just gonna figure this out i don't know if i'm gonna finish packing today uh but the plan is to finish packing today i'm not sure but i still need to go buy hangers at pep um and also i am so tired it's about uh 307 now um and i am super tired but i think i can keep it going i think i can keep on pushing until i finish just so that it can look neat before i go buy things to add on this mess so yeah i think let's just do that i hope you're enjoying the video i hope you subscribe um and you like this video <laughs> Okay guys, I have a dilemma. Okay, so this bed is supposed to be a three quarter. But it's not. My mattress protector does not fit. Like it's the mattress protector is way too small. And I also have this fitted sheet. Um, luckily, I haven't opened it. 
so i'm not sure if i can return this this looks like a double bed it's almost the size of the bed that i had last year but why did they say they are three quarter beds i don't know guys but i think i'm gonna go have to exchange these at pep um hopefully by the grace of god they allow me to change um change this and take um one for a double bed but yeah i'm gonna show you guys how it looks so basically this covers like one part like okay the the length is okay it's just the width that's a problem because it fits like properly like it fits this side but then going on to the other side uh okay let me show you guys going on to the other side um it ends here so this part is supposed to i mean you guys get it you guys get it but then this is the correct size of a three-quarter bed isn't it yes it is okay i think i'm just gonna uh fold it and then i'm gonna go change it today or tomorrow i'm not sure but for now we're just gonna clean up this mess and that's how my books look this is not all my material but yeah this is the mess that i need to clean up and then yeah i'm just hoping i'll be able to fix this so i decided that i'm gonna go to groceries now so just gonna go quickly go to the mall it's like three minutes here four five minutes away from me um and then yeah i guess i'm gonna come back and pack them this view is so pretty okay so i was able to change the i was able to change the things even though i opened them they didn't check if everything is fine so i got away with it so now i'm at tiscom uh, i'm at tiscom I'm here to buy
I just had a change of clothes because I spill um, on my shirt um, and then yeah I'm back I was able to return um, the sheets that I needed to return yeah I was able to return that um, mattress protector that I needed to return I closed it up nicely and the weird part is they like at pep they didn't check they didn't check like they didn't even ask why I am like exchanging it. They didn't check like if it's still okay, if it's damaged or anything. Like the internal control there is just so rocky. But it worked in my favor, thank the Lord. Um and then yeah, just gonna finish up. I'll show you guys the groceries that I bought, most probably after picking them up um and then yeah i'm just gonna now make my bed finish up actually cleaning this room so that um i can just get that done and over with it's about five now is it it's about it's after five actually but the sun is still out so i have more time to actually get th things done and you can see them like in daylight I mean, then, yeah, everything else was just to see after. Hey guys, so I am officially done with my bedding and this is how it looks. Um, I used um, the old bedding and this side, um, I'm also done. I hanged up the clothes and folded them nicely. Oh, 
anywho hey guys um so i finished with uh packing i made my bed i obviously showed you guys that i did uh, my clothes and stuff and now i just finished um praying over my room um and just plugging this room with the holy spirit where he dwells i will dwell um i need to dwell where the holy spirit dwells so i was praying for my room and deuteronomy deuteronomy 28 verse 6 they was talking about how i am blessed um coming in and going out um and i just applied it over my room that i am blessed going into this bedroom and i'm also blessed going out of um this bedroom and this is this bedroom will be a living sanctuary for the holy spirit um and there was uh proverbs 3 and uh, let me just confirm if it's proverbs 3 oh i prayed uh uh, uh psalm 91 the entire psalm 91 over the bedroom and there was proverbs 3 verse um 24 um we um it was oh yes it says when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet and yes god i receive i'm going to have countless peaceful nights in this bedroom um yeah it's just going to be an amazing year and mostly because i'll be spending most of my time in here so i just want this bedroom to just you know to be uh, i don't know how to explain it guy guys but i will not stop stretching the importance of praying for you, especially um most of us students are going to races um and obviously the room that you've been you are going into is a room that is been occupied by someone before it's still very important to pray like over your bedroom to just um invite the holy spirit to occupy and to take space in your bedroom any spirit that is not of the kingdom of god just it needs to exit you know because a different breed is coming to stay in that bedroom so i just finished doing that i'm just gonna sit and just listen to praise and worship actually praise songs I'm going to listen to praise songs and just praise the Lord because that's just how I feel right now. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you subscribe if you didn't subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping that we're going to have a very, 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 very beautiful year. Um, and yeah you are blessed god is gonna bless you um over this year he's gonna grant you the desires of your heart i hope that he is going to bless me with the desires of my heart um so yeah i hope you guys are blessed i hope that you guys are happy i hope that you still feel like going on you have not given up on life anymore you're given a chance for the mere fact that you're watching this video it, it serves as proof that you're given a chance to wake up tomorrow and try again or stand up right now and go try again and go push and go work hard for that one thing that you want or you are fighting for or you are seeking for or you are I don't know but whatever it is just know that there is still hope and there's always time for everything if it has not happened now just trust in god that it will come at its time whatever that it is that is made for you will not come to you late it will come at its time so yeah i just hope that we but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video